It's hard to believe, but we have reached the final weekend of the high school football season. It is a glorious fall afternoon in Wilmette. We're at Loyola Academy for the U2 game of the week. It's Brother Rice against Loyola. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jim Blaney. Thank you. A beautiful day here in Wilmette. We're glad you've joined us. It's high school football. Brother Rice against Loyola, and it's coming up next on the U2. Injuries to the quarterback position at one point in the season, and he was suiting up as a varsity quarterback. And you know they, that's why they always have quality quarterbacks because they get some experience, but they get the opportunity to practice in the varsity scenario. But you know he is such a catalyst—232 yards of total offense, and giving Loyola more than two touchdowns a game. Just he alone does that for the offense. And not even a chance to return the opening kick of the game. So 28 to nothing in favor of the Loyola Ramblers as they try to finish off an undefeated season in the Catholic League blue. By the way, if you're looking for the traffic report, the Edens is moving nicely at Lake Street. Back with more for this time out. You're watching the game of the week on the U2. This afternoon's game is brought to you by ISAC, making college accessible and affordable for Illinois students. And welcome to the Sun-Times Halftime Report. I'm Tonight we come to you from the campus of Homewood Flossmoor High School. It was last year on the final night of the regular season that HF knocked off Bolingbrook 28-10 and that ended high school game of the week. It's Bolingbrook and HF and it's coming up next. It's warm, folks. By the way, this is the warmest weekend we have had the entire football season. In the 80s, as we get ready to kick off, the temperature is going to drop a little bit as the sun finally sinks below the western horizon. So it's going to be comfortable for the fans, mid-70s tonight. But this might be the first game, Jack, where cramping actually becomes a little bit of a factor because... It is, it's humid tonight. We have not seen that yet this season. Well, that could be cramping for me, too, up here in this press box. It's pretty hot. It's hot everywhere. The place is Wind to speak of tonight. It's kind of a sticky, warm, late summer night here in the south suburbs. Hurley lets it go, drives it toward Mitchell. Will that stay in bounds? Yes, it will. Mitchell. This is going to be a, a game, Jim, where a lot of things can be happening out on the edges. What I mean by that is pass plays down the field are going to result in who tackles well. Jim Utter back already way too busy that I'm sure he would like, but he leads the crew of officials for tonight's game. And so we'll both the te teams are outstanding and special teams can result in long runs and great field position. Williams goes near side. Coyne will let that back. Tonight in Flossmoor, we'll have a stadium that will be rocked to capacity as 10,000 plus are set to watch number one ranked Lincoln Way East against number seven, Homewood Flossmoor. The Vikings have won the Southwest Suburban crown two years in a row, but will it be the night tonight that Lincoln Way East knocks them off their throne? It's Friday night, it's under the lights, and it's the game of the week on the U2. Welcome to Flossmoor, everybody, and tonight we have an outstanding matchup in high school football for you. Number one, an undefeated Lincoln Way East taking on number seven, an undefeated Homewood Flossmoor. Huge game tonight between these two teams and a lot riding on it. Conference bragging rights. Bragging rights to the best programs in the area and maybe the number one overall seed in 8A. Welcome everybody, I'm Jim Blaney, joined by my Hall of Fame partner, Jack McInerney. Two of the premier... Earlier today, a quiet stadium in Neuqua Valley. Preparations underway in Naperville for tonight's big showdown. The quiet before the storm. Wabonzi Valley and Nequa Valley. When we come back, we'll get this one going. It's a heated rivalry, but it's a big game for both teams. Nobody wants to be one and two three weeks into the season. It's Wabonzi Valley and Nequa Valley. It's coming up next on the Game of the Week on the U2. Tonight's game is sponsored by the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, UMW, powerful ideas, proven results, and 
Tonight's game is also sponsored by ISAC, making college accessible and affordable for Illinois students. We have Ariel tonight, Jack. How's that? Is that how's that for cool, huh? It is a packed house here tonight in Naperville. 8,000 fans on hand to watch these two arch rivals, but. So please join me in the room. Welcome back to Loyola for today's game. Today's game is being brought to you by ISAC, making college accessible and affordable for Illinois students. And by the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, UWM, powerful ideas, proven results. You could not ask for a more beautiful Saturday afternoon here on the North Shore. Beautiful setting here for high school football. They don't have lights here, Jack. I hope they never put them in because Saturdays at Loyola are special. Importantly, they're looking forward to next year. They've got 17 juniors that play an awful lot of football for them, and they're going to be really a good football team. Loyola, on the other hand, is going to play lights out this first half and create a tempo to see what happens after halftime. Then we'll see what goes on in the second half for Loyola. And remember, Brother Rice, they get to keep playing as well because they will, uh, they will participate. You're watching the game of the week on the U2. The score after the first quarter is Loyola 14, Brother Rice 0. And I'm here with Pat Mahoney, who's the athletic director for Loyola. You're watching the game of the week on the U2. And we have the second half coming up right after the break. Stay with us. This afternoon's game is brought to you by ISAC, making college accessible and affordable for Illinois students. Halftime Loyola. You're watching the Game of the Week on the U2. Heading into the fourth quarter, Loyola at 28, Brother Rice at zero. And I'm here with Les Seitzinger. Uh Welcome to Flossmore, everybody. We are here on the beautiful campus of Homewood Flossmore High School for the U2 Game of the Week. It's undefeated Bolingbrook against undefeated HF. Welcome, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jim Blake.